This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for Labor Day, Monday, September the 4th. I'm Vic Carter. A code red extreme heat alert is now in place, and the Baltimore City Health Department is asking that you take precautions while we experience the intense heat. This week, health officials are recommending that you drink plenty of water and avoid alcohol and caffeine. They also say if you can, stay inside during the hottest times of the day between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Also important to be aware of signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion. Those include confusion, nausea, and lightheadedness. And if you're looking for a place to beat the heat, there will be cooling centers open around Baltimore. They will be open Tuesday, September the 5th through Thursday, September the 7th from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Some of the centers are Harford Senior Center, Zeta Center for Health and Active Aging, and ShopRite of Howard Park. For a full list of cooling centers, just head to our website at WJZ.com. We also have a reminder for parents of city school students. Because of the intense heat this week, Baltimore City Schools is adjusting schedules tomorrow and Wednesday for schools without air conditioning. Students in grades 2 through 12 who attend schools without AC will learn virtually. Kindergarten through first grade students will attend school in person on an early schedule in air conditioned rooms. Transportation and meals will still be provided. Pre-K students will be receiving virtual learning. We are learning of a tragic end to the search for a Maryland man who went missing in the waters off the coast of Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, this holiday weekend. Crews have recovered the body of 31-year-old Richard Botang of Savage. He disappeared in the waters just before 6 p.m. last night. His body was found around 6 o'clock this morning. Officials say there are currently strong rip currents at beaches up and down the East Coast because of hurricanes out in the Atlantic. Former Governor Larry Hogan says he's not closing the door on a presidential run. Hogan has been releasing campaign-style advertisements without an actual formal running announcement. While on Face the Nation on Sunday, he spoke about the possibility of running under a no-labels ticket. We should only put together a ticket in the event that it's Trump and Biden. You know, I'm still, again, still trying to work to make sure we can get a good Republican nominee. And this doesn't, it's no longer necessary. But it has to be a good ticket that can actually win. Uh, you know, I would only be in it to win it. The Republican and Democratic conventions to decide on nominees for those parties is scheduled for July and August of 2024. And that's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter.